Hey, I'm Alec, and today on 3D Printer Troubleshooting Guide, we're going to talk about your printer not extruding at the start of a print. So this is a problem you might notice if you go to start your print, it does the skirt or it does the perimeter and no filaments coming out of your nozzle and instead you just have a totally blank build plate in front of you. Now there's really two different reasons that this could be happening, either it's poor calibration or you have some sort of mechanical issue with the extruder system on your printer. So we'll take a look at each of those individually and figure out what exactly might be causing this and some steps you might want to take to get this problem solved. First up is testing your printer calibration. So if you start your print and you see no filament is coming out or it's pretty intermittent where it looks like nothing and then a blob and then nothing and a blob or like it's it's really wavy and doesn't look right almost like it's really too squished what you should probably check is to see how close is the nozzle to the bed is it basically in the bed because if that's the case you need to just increase your z offset just slightly so your bed may be entirely level where it's the plane is exactly the same distance from the nozzle all across the bed, but the nozzle is just too close throughout the entire print. So maybe by layer three, it'll be far enough and start printing, but now you've lost two layers. So you just want to check that your Z offset is at the right height away from your nozzle. So if your printer is calibrated, you know that the Z offset is right because you can see a gap between the bed and the nozzle, even though slight, and there's still no filament coming out. Well, you may want to check that you don't have a mechanical issue, which is either a clog in the hot end or a jam in the extruder. Now, if it's a clog, what you can see is that when you try to push filament through when it's heated up and it just doesn't come out, well, you probably have a clogged nozzle. And we have other videos on how exactly to troubleshoot that. But it all comes down to just making sure that this nozzle can actually push filament through. Now, if you can push filament through here, but it's still not coming out when you start the print, you probably have an issue within the extruder. So that's the part that actually has the gear that bites into the filament. Now, if you had some sort of clog or jam at some point in the print where either you, what could happen is you don't have enough tension on that gear and it just kind of whittles away at the filament until it takes out a little chunk, which means there's nothing left for the gear to grind against and it's just doing nothing. So in that case, take out the filament, cut off the part that has the little mouse bite and make sure that the teeth in the gear are cleaned out. Now you can do this with a small set of tweezers, an X-Acto knife, just a plain old knife, just something to very carefully just scrape out the little bit of chewed up filament that's in there. The other thing you wanna do is make sure that your nozzle is primed once you start your print. So if you've left your printer kinda hot and it just sat there, filament's gonna melt out of the hot zone and just drip out of there. So when it starts the print, it may be a while before it actually pushes filament into the nozzle and starts extruding it for the print again. So if you have a direct drive, make sure that you relieve a little tension and you push it through until it comes out the nozzle. Or if you have a Bowden, do the same thing of making sure you push filament through and that it's not just stuck in the tube and it's actually able to flow out. You can also try adding more, uh, more paths to your skirt so it's got more times that it has to actually prime it. Maybe add just a prime line because it doesn't need much, just a little, or a prime blob if it's even less time that you need to have prime. It all comes down to just make sure that there's filament in your nozzle when the print starts. So I hope that this video kind of gives you an idea of what you need to do to troubleshoot your 3D printer and helps give you a better start with your experience. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's, and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.